2007. This initiative is backed by prominent partners, the Swiss Association for Entrepreneurship in Emerging Markets and the Tony Elomelo Foundation, emphasizing the international and private sector collaboration vital for female entrepreneurship development. The digital training enhances knowledge and skills in ICT and equips the women entrepreneurs for sustainable livelihood. I'm going to work and do my own thing. So like my client shopping, I am so, I mean, I'm not sure. So I came, and even on the very first day, <laughs> I, I embarrassed myself, like, you thought you knew it all. I've gained knowledge a bit of everything, almost, and it has increased not just my interest in the business, but the understanding of the business. To appreciate this ICT bootcamp for some of the things that it has been able to uh, put into my life. One, I learned so much from the University of uh, YouTube, yeah? But I wasn't able to get a hands-on skill. I was always telling my tech people, you know what, do this for me, do that for me. The stakeholder support with funding for the program highlights comprehensive backing spanning financial, developmental and policy domains. I am, I am so impressed by your experiences and I take a lot home from what you've said. I think the real future lies in ITC. It gives you the chance to leapfrog a lot of development and just make do and be part of maybe the most global approach no matter where you live you know what you are which religion you have or color of skin or gender it's a great opportunity to progress both public and private sector representatives highlighted the collaborative nature of the initiative we are going to ensure that uh, going forward we implement better and Above that, we hope that you take these trainings and uh, are able to grow your businesses, are able to grow this economy, and above all, to employ uh, several Ugandans. Graduated or who have just completed the ICT bootcamp have acquired skills that enable them to be part of the digital transformation because they now have skills that are that make them relevant in the digital transformation journey. That's number one. Number two is that with these skills, it means that they can contribute to the digital economy. The graduation of these 110 entrepreneurs stands as a testament to effective collaboration between various sectors and opinion women's empowerment in ICT and propelling economic growth. Sandra Kahonde, Jamel Sekaja, UBC News Tonight.